So take number of one of their responsible person. Anybody from the person This has been happening for a long time. That's what we're talking about. Young, young. Oh, yeah. She's going to be someone. Oh, yeah. The man is so old. Oh, I and the parents atrocity is being perpetrated by uh, the authorities from our counterpart across the Assam Meghalaya border. So uh, we'll need to look at you know how things are happening and why this is being uh, indulged upon, in keeping in mind uh, as to what has happened in the past. We should uh, also reconnect ourselves with the past and learn from the past experiences and uh, you have to understand one more thing uh, which uh, revolves around the laid down SOP, standard operative procedure for both sides. Uh, as we are confronted by this kind of situation, uh, how do we deal with this kind of situation? Because uh, it's not just once or twice, but in the past also, in the preceding decades, uh, we have gone through certain kind of experiences. And having learned from the past, we have uh, exhaustively discussed, mutually agreed to lay down certain uh, guidelines, certain parameters as a standard SOP uh, to be followed religiously by both sides. And uh, in the current instance, uh, in the instant case, it is it is quite uh, uh, difficult to understand and comprehend as to why it has happened. Because there is already a laid down uh, SOP, which should be followed by uh, the counterpart. Yeah. How did they enter without the knowledge of the counterpart? And then how did the villagers were, you know, somehow confronted with this kind of uh, situation as a force alien to the people? And you have to have the power of anticipation. That's the reason why we have the whole SOP laid down. These SOPs are based on what we understand is uh, important for us to uh, avoid any kind of uh, avoidable unfair situations.